There's a fish right underneath me. I think he sees my lure. He's just not taking it. He's got to see that plastic down there. There it is. Yep, 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 yep. There it is. Got him. I knew he was looking at it. Oh, it was a nice little bass. Get over here, son. So you could actually see him. He was uh, at about 15 feet, and then my lure, I just kept jigging it, jigging it, and I think he saw it, so I saw the mark actually go down towards where my lure was. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully we're going to have a lot better luck catching these little guys in the deep. Pretty cool whenever you use your electronics to locate the fish and then drop down, hook up onto them. It's so rewarding. I'm just slowly cruising out here. And anything that I see that looks like a fish like that one right there, it could possibly be one, but then again, I don't know. We got, we're on a, a really good school though. Got him. Look at that. Tiny little school. Super fun though. Bend that hook tip upwards so that it can stick the top of their mouth. Hookup ratio. Just got to keep tension on the line. Pretty little guy. Look at that. That whole school is still down there. All we got to do is just stay on this waypoint and keep dropping down. Go through all of them if we want. Maybe there'll be a bigger one. Who knows? Okay, so once they see this thing come down, that's it. They're gonna hit it. Yeah, that school is going down there. There we go. We got them. This one's got a little bit of weight. Same size. Little cookie cutter. Hopefully these bass stay deep and they're able to get a little bit bigger in a couple of years. But uh, yeah, that school is every bit of this size right here. <laughs> oh, there goes another one right there, straight down. Can we just get down there as fast as we can? That should do it right there. <laughs> what I tell you? Look at that. It's just too easy. This guy's a little bit bigger. Oh man. Yeah, he's a he's a bit bigger than the rest of them. <sighs> Look at that. Little Berkeley Power Minnow. Wow, nice fingerling bass. Even though we don't see the school anymore, uh, that, that seems to be a fish right there. 26 feet now. All right. Just get it right above their nose, and boom, comes up and hits it. I mean, look at that. <laughs> Son, I bet you haven't seen daylight in a long time probably spent your entire life down there in the dark get out here get some of that vitamin D super light looking bass healthy little fella there's another one still down there let's fix our lure get back down hopefully we're gonna catch a big one that's my hope I mean a big to me inside some like a little pond like this is going to be about a pound to two pounds these guys are maybe half a pound if we're lucky half a pound soaking wet somehow my line got wrapped around the tip okay yeah that school is still there awesome what I gotta do is just keep following it that should be good what I tell you good night oh, there, goes the, there goes the plastic Catching these guys one after another. That's a really big school. Look at that. These are what we call ditch pickles. At least that's what I call them. Let's put another lure on, get back down there, see if we can 
still find them. Okay, here we go. Straight through the tip. Midway through. Push it up against the lead of the jig head. And that's it. That's what we're using right there. Oh, there goes one right there. Oh, they're down there. I have drifted like from way over here all the way back to my original point and these fish are down there. Almost to our waypoint, which is right there. Number 275. And I'm looking, so you know you're by your waypoint. Now I'm looking over here to see if I see that fish arch or just a straight line, which is a clear indication of some type of a fish down there. When they're all together, schooled up like that, they're just straight feeding mode, and they're not too worried about being spooked. I mean, I wouldn't be worried if I was that deep down as well. You ain't got much to worry about from up above. Yeah, I think that guy was just a cruiser by. Let's reel in and continue trolling, scanning the bottom, seeing if we can find another juicy waypoint. That's going to hold some bigger fish. It's been a long time since I've been back out here and uh, to be honest the last time I was here I don't think I caught anything over like two pounds so if I catch something like that then I'm going to be satisfied. Oh there we go. That's a nice one right there. We're going to mark that fella right there. Okay double back. He's right on top of some structure. Could be some submerged logs or something like that. I don't know, but got to be careful because then we'll start losing our jig heads. I think that's the beginning of the structure right here. Let's go ahead and drop down 20 feet. So that's about seven. Okay, that's all I need to go right there. I'm estimating that to be at about 15 feet. And we start jigging. He's looking upwards. Remember, told you. He's looking upwards. He sees it coming down. Oh, yeah, that's a decent bass. That's a bigger one that I've, than what I've been catching. Oh, wow. Look at that mark right there. They followed him up. And that's a good waypoint right on top of the structure. Look at that. Right inside on top of that mouth. That's why I do it. I've been that jig head. These guys are deep. And this one's a little bit bigger. Check that out. That's a good 10, 11 inches right there. Go ahead, son. Go back down. Don't tell your friends, though. You can see my sweeping motion of my jig. I'm about a foot, two foot off the bottom. Oh, we got him. I didn't see that guy. Look at that. Hmm. Right here, you see it go. Here, look. You see my lure towards the bottom come up. That's where I think he hit it and it tried to go back down, and then I just brought him all the way back up in. Not sure if y'all can see that, but that's exactly what happened. Little cookie cutters. They're still fun to catch. I mean, it beats staying at home on a Sunday and uh, not being able to get out to the salt because of 18 mile an hour winds. Uh, a lot of you have told me that y'all went out and against your better judgment, you got skunked. Um, that's all I'm trying to avoid. I don't want to get out there and you get skunked. That's no fun for anybody, especially when you got to waste all that gas, all the money that you put into going fishing, the time and effort. Yeah, that's no fun for anybody. I'm trying to see. Okay, there goes something right there looking at it more than likely. Come on, party animals, take it. Let it drop to the bottom again. There we go, that's the bottom. Twitch it up. We're gonna keep it towards the bottom. That's where they are right now. Hiding, and we got them. Coming straight up. Going airborne. Watch out, working with a monster. A monster for this little pond. You guys are too easy to catch, especially when they're schooled up like that. Way too easy. This little Berkeley Power Minnow doing the job. Gosh darn fella, you got my camera lens wet again. Oh, these are some beautiful chunks right here. 
they're super healthy so whatever it is that's down there they've got plenty of it to eat oh that's a beautiful little fella right there get on back down there Ooh, look at that got him didn't even see him on the Lorenz Ooh. this guy is plenty he's plenty mad I'm sorry I ruined your day Oh man, we got him right there. We're gonna have a bleeder on our hands, so let's hurry up, get this out. There we go, got it out. Let's get him back in, because he is bleeding. It got his gill. Gosh, don't you just love hitting the school? You gotta use the Lowrance to your advantage. Whenever it's a hard day of fishing like this, you need some eyesight underwater, and that's what this guy provides us catching fish hopefully y'all were able to see my Lowrance screen as I'm pulling these guys up showing y'all what it is that I'm seeing and uh, you can kind of learn a little bit for the most part every sounder is pretty much the same sometimes you'll see a structure and it's lit up sometimes you see fish fish traditionally are like an arch and I think that's it I don't see that school anymore I've drifted way off my waypoint so we'll make our way back in. What a way to spend a Sunday afternoon catching a whole mess of ditch pickle largies. It was fun. Better than going out to the salt and getting blown around by 18 mile an hour winds. So hope you all learned something today just by taking a look at a Lowrance unit. And uh, I have had a great day. Better than staying at home, sitting down, Looking like a couch potato. Eating chips, watching TV. Let's throw a huge shout out before I end the video to James Wanner, Kenneth Wallace, and Joseph Mariano. Thank you fine gentlemen for donating to uh, the channel as patrons. I really appreciate it. So if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button. And until next time, tight lines everybody.